Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Connie's Cooking Channel. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Today we're gonna to make some stuffed pork chops. And before we get started, we are going to use butterfly pork chops. And I'm going to actually brine my pork chops. This will definitely tenderize the chops. When you bite into it, they will be juicy. So let me rinse off the pork chops and then we'll come back and set it in our brine. So now that we have our pork chops rinsed, let's add apple cider vinegar, kosher salt, and I'm gonna leave these measurements below, ladies and gentlemen, so that you will be able to brine your pork chops. That's sugar, and I'm gonna to top it with water. And that's about two cups. Mix this up together. And we're gonna put this in the refrigerator for about two hours, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing better than brining pork before you cook it. It will tenderize your meat. Now, if you wanna add more water to this, you may do that, but I believe that is ample enough water. Now, ladies and gentlemen, while our pork chops are briny. I'm going to air fry some bacon. I'm going to set it for 325 for three minutes just to preheat it. Now that our air fryer has warmed up or preheated for three minutes at 325, I'm going to lay in eight slices of bacon and I did slice my bacon in half because that's a habit of how I do my bacon <laughs> in my air fryer. And if you lay it on top of each other, it's still air fry. You just basically want to check it halfway through and turn it. So I'm setting the temperature again for 325. And I'm going to do... 15 minutes and I'll check it in seven and a half minutes to eight minutes. So I'll see you back once it's done. I believe our bacon is done. I'm gonna get a plate and a napkin. We're gonna use some of this bacon inside of our stuffed pork chop. I want it to cool off just a tad bit. That's why we're gonna do it ahead of time. So ladies and gentlemen, this is our air fried bacon in about 13 and a half minutes at 325 degrees in our air fryer. So let's go to our next step. The pork chops that have been brining for about five hours in the refrigerator. I'm gonna use Philadelphia cream cheese and about half the pack, give or take. And we're gonna add some green onions. This is optional, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all know I like a, a little bite to mine. I'm gonna add some bacon. You can use as little or as much bacon as you like. And a little garlic powder. That's a little bit more than a little bit, huh? Now, I'm just gonna go in here and mix this together, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to use a mixer, you may do that. If you want to use more green onions, if you want to use some other seasonings in here, you may do that. I'm using my hands because it's easier for me to mix. I did allow my cream cheese to sit out of the refrigerator. So it's softer for me to actually mix together, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Let's set that aside. We have our pork chops. Gonna use some slap your mama seasoning. Don't slap your mama, you get slapped back. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Little bit of garlic powder. 
and some pepper. We definitely want our pork chops to be seasoned. I'm gonna turn it over and I have my homemade seasoning that I use. Now let me grab a spoon and wash my hands. Oh, we need some cheese. Hold on. I knew I was forgetting something. How could I forget? Now I'm eyeballing these measurements, ladies and gentlemen. So I'll just leave all the ingredients below. I'm gonna throw the rest of the bacon in there. Why not, right? Yeah, I know I air fried um, four pieces of bacon. Y'all know me, I ate a slice, so this is only three slices of bacon in here. <laughs> yeah, I know me. I'm always sampling something or eating something as I'm cooking sometimes, so. Okay, that looks decent. Okay, about like that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's grab our spoon and stuff this. Now I'm using butterfly pork chops. So if you want to use the thicker pork chops, just slice them in half, okay, ladies and gentlemen, and you will have a winner. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So if you wanted to, you could have used the mallet per se if you want to make this close down a little bit more but i think this is going to be good i've already preset my oven to 325 degrees i don't like cooking pork fast ladies and gentlemen if you wanted to put these in a frying pan you could do that as well or you can put them in an air fryer Oh, yes. Now I'm going to coat the bottom of my glass dish with some olive oil spray. Easy cleanup. And then I'm going to get some olive oil. I'm going to brush my pork chops. This will prevent it from drying out and we can have some very tender pork chops. Which they're going to be tender anyway, y'all. Does that not look stuffed to you? <laughs> it's stuffed. Trust and believe me. Now we're just going to set these into our glass dish. We are going to keep it upright as such and grab some aluminum foil and cover it. In the oven it goes 325 degrees until it is done. And I will tell you how long it took once it's out of the oven. So I will see you back once I pull it out and we'll be ready to sample it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is our finished pork chops. Our stuffed butterfly pork chops. Do they not look delicious? If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends and family. Share, 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 share. We're almost to our next milestone of 3,500 subscribers. We can do it, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't done so already, leave a comment below. Hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you'll be notified on my next video upload. Now, I did make some smothered potatoes and onions to go along with this dish and I'll leave that link above so that you'll be able to make that recipe as well. Are y'all ready to get a bite of this? Let's pull out our two picks here. Set that aside. Oh yum yum. 
This is going to be delicious, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Look how easy that is to actually cut that piece of pork. Y'all get a bite? How's I look to y'all? Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, this recipe is delicious. Mm, 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 mm. The seasonings are perfect. Y'all want some potatoes? I've been craving for smothered potatoes, y'all, for about two weeks. And I basically just cut up two out of whole potatoes with some onions. I get a bite. This is delicious. Mm, mm, mm. I'm telling y'all, y'all must try this recipe. I want to thank y'all for watching. God bless you again. Y'all have a wonderful evening. And I will see you in the next video upload.